Hey everybody, today I wanted to point out a potential new trend that I'm noticing in the web design industry and specifically on dribble.com. There are eight different designs I'm going to show you that kind of take hero sections to a new level in terms of layout. And at the end of this, I'm also gonna show you a design I literally just created this morning where I show you what that design might look like back in the 2011, 2012, 2013 era then also the 2017, 2018, 19, and even to now. And then also finally, the same design adapted with this new trend in mind as well. So let's take a look at these examples. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy. Um, I'm gonna link these all in the YouTube description so you can check them out on your own if you wish. And here's a, a great example of, of a pretty modern approach to like a landing page hero section. And the one thing that really makes this stand out and, and be a little bit different from what we're typically used to is that it's really dynamic. Uh, we have elements here, we have elements over here. It's typographic heavy, big bold type. It's also colorful. And like I said, it's dynamic. It's not just a left column. With type, with type and a call to action and then an illustration on the right, okay? So it's dynamic. Let's check, let's check out another one. And here's another great example right here. This is a, a really solid design. I love the topography. Now, some of this is a UX nightmare in terms of the topography and the lack of contrast. Yes, yes, yes. However, the overall layout I, I really like. I, it's, it's really interesting and dynamic. Uh, another one would be here, like this is not the type of layout that you're used to typically seeing in a hero section. You know, it's sometimes you know, back like, I would say in the 2012 era, you would have everything was just centered and stacked on top of each other. And I'll show you an example of that at the end. Um, but this is just a lot more interesting use of white space, color, and topography. Uh, here's another one, I really like this one, actually has an animation that starts, so it's gonna refresh here in a second. So you kind of see it comes in. And again, it's just a really unique sort of layout. I, a strong emphasis on the headline and topography. Here's another one. This one might be just a tad bit busy, but it's still illustrating and demonstrating this purpose or this new this new trend where it's, it's, it's a lot more dynamic. I, and it's not just your typical left right hero section. Here's another one. Again, big bold type, interesting little blips of type that's here and there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here's another example. Again, a lot of uh, colorful and interesting layouts based on what could be construed as interesting grids, like with uh, a lot of different uh, rows and columns, essentially. And then finally, here's another example. So I just kind of wanted to plant this seed uh, going forward so they can really kind of stay on top of the current trends um, and, and again all trends it doesn't mean you have to design from this like you know every project going forward but it's just to kind of throw out an idea it's kind of like a new ingredient that you can choose to incorporate if it makes sense um, so let me show you this design in Figma that I created so this right here is what we saw a lot back like 10 years ago or even 15 years ago and that is just a, a typical hero section where we have a photograph in the background which was usually watermarked hopefully it was because there's usually type sitting on it and it was all centered and all stacked in rows and i think the reason we saw this is because that's when smartphones you know like 2010s or so were just starting to become popular and it was just a lot easier for us to make everything stacked rather than try to deal with columns and make it responsive. Uh, so early web design in terms of uh, when smartphones came out, kind of followed this approach where it was just really super simple. This was a typical pattern, photograph, watermarked, type on top of it, centered and stacked. All right, let's take the same concept, this business concept called Eco Eats, and let's fast forward a few years. And this is what we see a little bit more often these days. It's a more fresh take. Um, it's more dynamic. We have two columns, one row instead of like three rows and zero column, or we're just one column. And this is what we see and we're more likely to see these days. Am I saying that this is dead? No, I am not. I'm just, 
I'm just demonstrating this that, that, that there's a, a new way to approach uh, the hero sections of websites. So let's go ahead and fast forward to what I'm seeing today. And we might see something like this. Now, I'm gonna tell you, some of you are gonna prefer this design. In fact, this design might actually perform better if you were to put it through usability tests and conversion rate optimization. But nonetheless, this is what I'm seeing. And this could be construed as what we're seeing I like currently on the front page of dribble.com in this in this trend that I'm I'm creating this video about specifically. We have I a more dynamic hero section in a layout. So we have an interesting I font here with a large type. This is our headline. Then we have a so this is a one row three column approach and they're not even even. This one's slight this is like larger. So it's fluid, it's dynamic. It's not all symmetrical. Um, and then we have a, a full width uh, row and column right here. Some white space, good empty white space. Uh, we have a, the marquee banner, which has been kind of brought back uh, recently. And as you can see, if we, we scale out, we can kind of see the trans transition between these layout trends that we're seeing. Um, I'm hoping this is just pretty much well and dead. We don't see it anymore. Um, but I would definitely encourage you all to experiment with more rows, more columns, or more interesting use, uses of your rows and columns. And so a, about a week ago, I did a video that will help you kind of think outside of the box in terms of creating unique layouts like this. And if I get it up, because I did not have it ready beforehand, I go to my channel and I might go to my videos. I had a, a video that did pretty well if, if I, yeah, right here. So this was just 13 days ago, and I will show you in this this right here, this video, how to kind of create these unique layouts. Um, here is the layout generator that I featured, but essentially you can use this uh, to kind of create or just allow you to kind of create some scaffolding of an interesting layout. So this is only two columns. We can go up, or three columns. We can go up to more and you can kind of just piece together a really interesting layout kind of with this scaffolding right here. And again, you can go ahead and check out that video. It was uploaded 13 days ago. And yeah, so I just wanted to upload this video just to, to, to talk about my observation right here and where I see the industry heading in terms of UI design and layouts in respect to the hero section. So as always, make sure to check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.